Yeah, well, fun fun environment. Thank you to everybody that had a hand in putting that together. So all the school districts and schools that, that brought those kids. That was loud. Um, really crazy loud a couple times. Uh, but that was fun. They, they created a great environment for us and to our marketing team and, and everybody here. Um, that was that was really well done, the best that I've been a part of. So um, felt good about that piece of it outside of that. I did not think we played particularly well. Um, I'm not even sure we deserved maybe um, for the majority of that game to win, but I thought we battled, so I was proud of that. Um, but big time credit to Wright State. I thought they were they were the aggressor. Um, they were the team that punched first. They stuck it to us early. I thought we were back on our heels. Um, even some of their pressure, we hadn't really seen the way they were kind of defending and pushing us off the three-point line, so probably a game plan um, from them, so something we'll get better from. Um, the Hutchison kid was phenomenal. I don't know if anybody's ever scored 37 on one of, against one of our teams, and we threw a lot at her. We tried a bunch of different stuff. Nothing really seemed to work. Tried to tire her out, which she didn't finally miss one free throw, if that counts as tiring somebody out, and, and missed a three, so it was really just to try to you know eliminate her because she was kind of the head of the snake a little bit the way that game was going. Um, but our group was resilient. We found a way to win it late, um, got to the free throw line. That was, we finally made enough free throws to, you know, to put it away, um, I guess, but that it, it took a little bit longer than we were expecting. Um, but I do think we'll get better from this game. That's, that's good for us. Um, we needed that. Um, that was, it was high level basketball there for a, for a, a, a brief period. Um, but certainly got to get better defensively and then figure out what to do offensively as well. Cause we just weren't quite ourselves tonight or today. Obviously, Hutchison was their top scorer coming in, but did you know that this had the potential to be a J.J. versus Alexis Hutchison type battle? Well, no. I mean, she's a good player, um, and Coach Carter had the scout and kind of called it to my attention pretty early and how crafty she was. Now, she made, you know, some of those crazy, you know, deep, deep threes and some stuff like that. I thought, you know, like that's, you know, to her credit, she just made some tough shots, but there was times we lost her and didn't defend her right, and then she hits a three off an out-of-bounds play that we had scouted and gone through. I mean, there's stuff like that that just – irks you as a coach when you feel like we should have had them or we did prepare the right way and, and we just didn't, you know, take advantage of it. But no, the kid played her, played her mind off and, uh, you know, JJ was pretty special too. And there for a while it was a back and forth and it was just kind of let each one of those kids carry their team and, and see who can will them to win. And then JJ fouls out. So we kind of lose, you know, a lot of that, but really proud. So we had to find some different kids to step up. I thought tears, had a couple big baskets in that fourth quarter and Jordan's running the show and Jayla getting to the free throw line. So, yeah, so we're really proud of some kids that stepped up. Coach, you were talking about when JJ fouls out, there's still four minutes left. It's a one point game still at that point. Anything can happen. So, like, just kind of what's running through your mind at that moment, you know, knowing that, you know, she, she can't play. Yeah, well, most of it was just on the defensive end, which is all I kept running through my mind the whole night was how can we slow him down and how do we slow down Hutchison and what are we going to do now? And, you know, we had tried some different things and, and played a lot of man, and I didn't think that particularly worked. So there late we did go back to our traditional defense and started pressing and playing a little bit more zone, and that's when we got a couple turnovers in the fourth quarter. I thought we got our energy back a little bit. So, um, you know, and that was after J.J. had fouled out. So it was really just kind of see if we can't rev him up. I thought Lauren, you know, Lauren didn't score, but, you know, a little bit bigger body and a little more active, I thought did a pretty good job on Hutchison. You seem to want to go inside a lot this afternoon, and then in the, late in the fourth quarter after that timeout with around seven minutes left, you guys really just went inside, went inside, got fouled. Is that something that you finally were just like, let's just keep going inside and hope to get fouled, or – was there a game plan? Yeah, yeah, well, the game plan going in was, you know, we wanted to win the paint for sure. We thought we had an advantage in in there, whether that was off the pass with a post player back to basket or even some of the guards off the dribble. And so we wanted to win the paint. That was a big time emphasis for us. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, JJ fouls out and tears, I thought, had a pretty good mismatch in there. So it was just trying to get her that look, kind of tried to get Tabby some looks in that first half and didn't play great. So we just kind of went with tears of there um, late. But whether it was off the bounce or yeah, via the pass, that was the goal. And obviously the free throws, we got rewarded at the free throw line. Coach, kind of along those lines with, with tears, I mean, up until that fourth quarter, it wasn't like she'd played a, a ton of minutes up until that point. So was this game kind of weird in the sense that, you know, all of a sudden you get to that fourth quarter and now you're kind of running offense through – someone who you probably didn't even expect to run offense through, you know, going into the game. So kind of a, a huge adjustment there. Like, yeah, I, I think a little bit. Um, I mean, we thought Tirza coming in, we could, we would run offense for her. You know, she got hurt early and just is a little, still a little bit behind and just knowing all of the, the rotations on defense and where she's supposed to be. And she plays multiple positions for us. So, 
Um, yeah, I mean, the whole day was weird. The whole everything about this was weird. From the early start, we didn't have a shoot around. You don't have a pregame meal. I mean, everything about it was weird. Felt weird. The game felt weird. I was searching like heck to try to just find anything that would work. And um, you know, to my, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm still evaluating this one in my mind as a coach to figure out how I could have maybe done a little bit, be, a better job or done more to to help the group. Um, you know, because um, we we just weren't great tonight. Um, but again, I'd rather win and figure out how to get better than have to take a loss to figure out how to get better. So um, to our kids' credit, they did enough. So thankful for that. It had been almost a month since you guys have been in a close game like this. How much is that kind of game pressure a help in a sense that you go to conference play in 10 days and now you can have one of these games that's close late rather than having to think back to November? Yeah, no, it, it, now that it's over, it's good. It's okay. Like, we'll get better from it. At the time, though, you know, you know I don't know that we felt – that way when this thing was back and forth and they led for what 25 minutes I think we only led for eight almost nine minutes you know and so we played from behind most of the night so that's something we'll talk about you know and this team is is pretty even keel there's times I wish they had a little more and understood like no like we need to change this like it's not just cool at the moment or or even keel um but at the same time that I it's pretty impressive too that they just don't get too high they don't get too low they just keep battling um I kept telling them in time out like show me your guts like this is gonna you're just gonna have to gut this thing out it's not gonna be pretty um you know it's not gonna be beautiful basketball but just have some guts about you and figure out how to get this thing done which of course we did uh, how disappointing was it that you know you couldn't get really anything out of Lauren and, and Kaya and what kind of things you do during the 40 minutes to you know, try to get something. Yeah, I mean, we just we didn't get anything going from three. Um, you know, Lauren missed a layup that I know she would love to have back. Had a couple good looks early and didn't get them there. You know, and then really it was Jayla was kind of going, JJ was going, you know, Jordan. So it was kind of just th those three kind of were just – like I said, they just had some momentum when they were in, so it really wasn't – I mean, we would still play Lauren even if she hadn't scored. I doesn't – you know, I don't get overly worried about that because she can affect the game some other ways. Kaya was her normal self, just again offensively, just didn't give us a ton, but she's so active on defense. Um, you know, put her in to make the free throws, and to her credit, she did. So still value there. We just – yeah, we didn't have everybody play well. Um, we got to get everybody playing well on the same night or at least more than we did tonight probably. Got two for you. Um, you mentioned you know, not having shoot around, different pregame meal thing. You mentioned that on Friday too. Did you feel like your team handled that okay? That change of kind of pace or uh, your well, routine? I, I mean, I don't know. The easy answer would be no because of the way it, it all looked early on. But I don't know if that was why or not. It may have just been that we just we weren't great. Maybe we didn't practice the right way. Maybe they just right state came out with more energy than we did. Um, I thought that, you know, all the kids here in the fan, I mean, that, that created energy. Um, I just, we just didn't feed off of it the way I thought that we probably would and come out with our normal, you know, kind of punch first mindset. So that's probably what disappointed me the most is I just didn't think we were the aggressor to start the game. And certainly right state was, and it looked like it. AP poll comes out during the game, uh, still on the outside of the top 25, ranked number 27 in terms of you know, votes or whatever. Uh, do you feel this team is a top twenty-five team? Yeah, sure. I mean, when you're ten and zero, like I think you should definitely be in that in that consideration. Um, you know, so without a doubt, I think we're one of those teams. That, you know, the Penn State win obviously helped. It hasn't been the most difficult schedule, but I think we were like what twenty-one or twenty-two in the net, which takes a lot of things into into play. Um, so you know, when you start to look at some of the metrics, I think our efficiency and some of the outside of tonight um, has been pretty good, which warrants um, a top twenty-five. I mean, consideration, which I guess we're right there. And we didn't play last week, so we didn't get any help from a. <laughs> a win or anything we had the same record two weeks ago as we did this monday so um you know need to win a couple more and you know hopefully have a couple people lose i guess so we can get in there but would be would mean something special for this program no doubt do you think the eight day layoff had any effect early well i mean i think it did but we've already done this once or twice so that's why i thought we would be okay so maybe eight day layoff but early start i don't I'm not really sure i mean we'll go back and kind of look at it and evaluate if we handled it handled it the right way, uh, but we certainly weren't in sync. We didn't have a lot of rhythm, and eight days does probably limit that a little bit. Any more questions for Coach? Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thank you, guys.